Hey guys, uh, Chris here for Location Location, and I'm starting off kind of small here in Independence, Kansas with the Sinclair Oil Corythosaurus. Uh, the Corythosaurus is one of nine dinosaurs built for the New York 1964 to 1965 Sinclair Oil World's Fair uh, for their Dino Land exhibit. They're life-size dinosaurs. Um, this is the Corythosaurus. It's in Independence, Kansas. Uh, to give you a little bit of, of a history about the Corythosaurus, uh, it was discovered by one Barnum Brown, who is also the man dis responsible for discovering the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and uh, some remarkable facts about this dinosaur is that we found uh, the holotype for it had everything except for like the back half of its tail and its forearms uh, right there. So, to make uh, a long story short, Corythosauruses, or Corythosai, or what have you, are duck-billed dinosaurs. They're hadrosaurs, to my knowledge. Um, they lived sometime, I think Cretaceous period. And, um, I mean, look, that, that's a tree. That's how tall they are. It's like a full-size tree. Um, yeah, we've, we've found uh, everything in its holotype, including some of its skin, and its last meal, like pine needles, figs, and stuff like that, in its chest cavity. So we have very well-preserved specimens of this dinosaur. Another fun little fact about him is that this crest right here uh, was determined that there were several different species of Corythosaurus. And that's not true. There's like maybe three or four. Turns out that another scientist, whose name I can't recall at the moment because I don't have my notes, uh, actually said, well, what if those crests are actually like the size and shape of like sexual like maturity and age? And turns out he was right. So, yeah. And the way they use these crests is probably like, uh, they used to think that they could use them as snorkels, like most duck-billed dinosaurs, like they thought they could. And what turns out is that they merely have the ability to be like a trumpet, like a cassowary call. Uh, which is ironic because these guys were herbivores, and cassowaries are douches. So yeah, Corythosaurus. One down, eight to go. See you on the next road trip, guys.